We've all witnessed some questionable driving on the road. Are you ready to embark on a new journey filled with adventure, excitement, and surprises? Let's go! This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. Oh, if you manage a fleet of trucks, ensure that your drivers are educated on railroad crossing safety. Exercise increased caution at uncontrolled railroad crossings. Slow down, look both ways, and listen for approaching trains. Pray that all of them are fine. Stay alert, folks. Well, minimize the use of brakes within the curve. Hard braking during a curve can lead to loss of control. Instead, control your speed before entering the curve. Invest in high-quality, durable tires that are suitable for the type of driving you do. Cheap or worn-out tires are more prone to blowouts, and investing in quality tires can enhance overall safety. Bro, make steering movements smoothly and avoid sudden or sharp turns. Abrupt steering can lead to loss of traction and result in skidding. It was a really wet day. Glad he's fine. Oops, thankfully there were no injuries. <laughs> Keep a safe distance from trucks like this. Stay away from them, everyone. Oh no, he did not notice that the traffic in front of him has stopped and reacts too late. At least there were no injuries. No man, before crossing any street, look left and right to check for oncoming traffic. Wow, this driver is so lucky. Oops, be aware of the height, width, and length of your truck, including any cargo. This is a pursuit that involved the suspect stealing multiple cars. No one was hurt. Towards the freeway. Head on into left. I always wear seatbelts all the time. I don't allow people in my car unless they wear one. Wow, how lucky are they? Always yield the right of way to oncoming traffic when making an unprotected left turn. Even if you have a green light, ensure that the way is clear before proceeding. Well, perhaps he took a left turn too wide. Be careful, man. Ugh, what is going on? Glad everyone is safe. Cement mixer trucks have a high center of gravity due to the rotating drum. 
Be mindful of this and avoid making abrupt or sharp turns that can destabilize it. Hmm, I think this intersection requires a stop signal. I think in this case, it is necessary to keep a safe distance instead of blaming anyone who is wrong. What is he doing? Do not imitate this. Stay informed about road conditions, especially if you are driving in mountainous or challenging terrains. Be cautious of sharp curves. Oh my, thankfully there were no collisions. Man, don't do that anymore. Road signs should be closely observed, particularly those that indicate bridge clearances. If there is a low clearance sign, stay on the designated diversion route and try not to cross the bridge. What is he doing? How did he get this driver's license? Who is at fault on this situation? You decide. Slow down, guys. Yeek! Yielding to each other is a good idea, trust me. Okay, Garmin, save video. Oops! Maintaining a safe distance can prevent chain reactions. Having enough space allows you to stop gradually. Whoa, the video recording car was extremely fortunate. Well done. He had an excellent defensive driving. Oh my, what's going on? It looks like Fast and the Furious. Pray everyone is safe. Don't blame the tipper truck driver. He also tried to avoid colliding with the dash cam guy. Unbelievable. No one was seriously injured. The dash cam footage captures a small plane striking power lines before emergency landing. Whoa, at least everyone is fine. Let's ease off the gas pedal and navigate at more relaxed pace, bro. Electricity and water. I don't like this combo. Please don't get out of your vehicle. Stay in it. That's too fast, but if the driver kept his wheels straight, nothing could go wrong. Hope he's all right. Oh no, the speed limit is 120 kilometers per hour. The speed of the white car must be more than 120 kilometers per hour. A race with a train is a race you'll lose. Never attempt to beat a closing barrier. Poor train. Got stuck on the tracks, I guess. Feel sorry for the trainman. Hopefully the driver got out in time. And that looks expensive. God. 
should really get some frame and axle sliders in case it goes down again. Glad he wasn't hurt. Little damage was done to his bike. Everyone has to learn sometime. Better to learn and wreck going slow. Rider was okay. The bike was a bit beat up, but can always be repaired. Bravo! Nice pit maneuver. The police did a great job. No way! Turn on the right light and cut to the left, and then go straight to the left. This is either a drunk driver or he's playing on his mobile phone. No, man, if you need to make a sudden stop, signaling in advance gives drivers behind you a heads up. Don't try to brake check trucks. Did he fall asleep or not? Thankfully, there were no pedestrians at the time. No, definitely distracting. Pay more attention, mate. Everyone is all right. That is a pity. It's a brand new car. Um, the conclusion was either sitting on the phone or texting. Be careful, everyone. pickup truck is 100% at fault. How do you pull up the stop sign next to two cars already there before you and try to go before them? I won't let you win. Luckily other vehicles avoid being involved. Oops! I originally thought it was something to do with a big car, but it was actually something to do with the guardrail. Glad he's fine. Check over your shoulder, or use the rearview mirror, man. Combining both methods ensures comprehensive coverage of your surroundings. Remember folks, continuously scan the road and your surroundings. Be aware of what's happening in your periphery, and anticipate potential hazards. The suspects were trying to steal a car from the garage of the home. Ended with suspects in custody. Kind of weird? It seems everything is clear. The review is excellent. How could it be possible not to notice? This is the intersection that was featured on TV as the Devil's Crossing. There was another incident just four days after the broadcast. Glad everyone is okay. Items that fall off or shift unexpectedly can pose a risk to other vehicles. It is the responsibility of carriers to comply with regulations. Whoops! He tried to get out of his free parking spot at the local store after they closed. The bus collided with Sobel, which was standing at a traffic light. According to the bus driver, he did not have time to break on the slippery surface. What are they thinking? Do not imitate this. Oops! Drinking or texting? Don't turn across oncoming cars without giving way. Good luck, everybody else.
Can't imagine if he had been half a second earlier there. Oh my, how does the driver not know that? His vehicle is too wide to travel in a normal traffic lane. He was distracted and didn't even see the roundabout until it was too late to make the turn. Luckily, he didn't collide with anyone else. Those railroad signs aren't suggestions, they're commandments. Don't be impatient. This truck was repossessed. Driver lives and leads a fairly normal, productive life. I don't understand people who use their phones while driving. It is clear that at the last moment he tried to avoid the collision, he was distracted on the road. Most companies in a situation like that without proof it wasn't their driver's fault would have fired them. So this dash cam might have saved his job. Whoops, I never thought something like this could happen. Pay more attention, bro. Oh, look where you want your bike to go and not where you want to avoid. He needs to trust his bike in that situation. Push the left handlebar gently to counter steer. Right. <laughs> so. Fortunately, nothing bad happened. He was just a little scared. In Kansas City, a multi-car incident involving a tractor-trailer caused road rage. Folks, every vehicle requires a certain braking distance to come to a stop. They're just standing there eating something like it's a movie theater. Does anyone know any information about this incident? Unbelievable. He's extremely lucky to have missed that. This is an amazing capture. Bravo! Wonderful reaction from the man in the super. His heart must have skipped a beat at that moment. For smaller, looser items, use string, rope, or elastic cord to tie them down. Ensure they are always secure and won't fly out when the vehicle is in motion. Oh no, slowing down increases your reaction time. In this case, a slower speed allows you to respond more quickly. Oh no, it appears that the event was caused by the road's narrowness paired with the snow. No! What is wrong with him? If only he slowed down. The truck driver filed a complaint against the decisions in court on 12 21 23. What is your opinion on this incident? Whether the driver of the car was to blame? Wow, it's a miracle that there was no contact. If you really have to stop, at least in a straight line, you are less likely to get into trouble. Poor Volvo. Heavens, hopefully someone will warn him. Pray everyone is fine. A 
driver said he had to break his Tesla's window to climb out as his vehicle shut down before catching fire. Luckily, the firefighters extinguished the flames. Man, you shouldn't drive on the grass like that. No way, he just casually entered against a four-lane oncoming. Don't do that, man. Oh, I was relieved that no one was hurt. Amazing how well it was documented. Never attempt to outrun a train. If a train is approaching, wait patiently. Play lively and upbeat music to help keep your mind active and focused. However, be mindful of the volume to ensure it doesn't become a distraction. No, no, no! Why doesn't he stop? Glad everyone is okay. Snow can create slushy or icy patches, increasing the risk of hydroplaning. So driving at a slower speed reduces the likelihood of hydroplaning, enhancing overall vehicle control. Glad everyone is okay. He didn't even slam the brake. He was definitely distracted. Remember, as a driver, you have a legal and ethical responsibility to operate your vehicle safely. It was nice of everyone who helped him. Praise for those who care. Bravo, he keeps his bike very well. This is what it means, low speed and distance. Be careful, guys. This is a classic incident when driving the wrong way. When this happens, the driver must react immediately. There is no time to learn. This is a chase of a stolen BMW. You're doing a great job, man. Who is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Ah, uh, this driver needs to learn how to turn the steering wheel. At least there were no collisions and no injuries. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.